when you get to watch somebody that's coming from the, the suffering and the darkness and the lostness of addiction and and they have that shift, you know, that shift that I want, I need something different, and they find it's possible. That's divine creativity. I had to absolutely let go of every um, you know, there's always this, well, I'll change this or I'll do this and it'll be okay. At 31, when I hit that all-time low, I had no hope, zero hope. I made the decision, I have to change the direction of my life. There's nothing that's going to, you know, make it okay other than different choices. From that, from that, that opportunity that I was given to, to change the course and the direction of my life, really the, the opportunity to get conscious, um, that's where it all started. That's where, you know, um, Lighthouse began. When I was 15 years old, I, as I said, I didn't feel like I really fit, you know, there was a disconnect. And, and by getting sober and getting into a fellowship, I felt connected and related. And so what it's like for me to have a, a, an intimate facility such as Lighthouse is I get to be related with each person that comes through. There's a gift in that, you know, to, to connect with somebody when they're in that despair. I can, I can relate to that. And then I can relate to this desire to change and then I can relate to the possibilities of recovery and so what it's like for me is this this creative energy my recovery started with divine energy and so what it's like for me is I get to relive that divine energy watching them step into their recovery into their uh, purpose you know uh, doing it differently As I grow spiritually, then I get to see in them the, the possibilities for them. And so with that, then I get to have a different direction. When people come to Lighthouse, uh, yeah, I, I do believe they're in despair. They have to be or they wouldn't be here. What we do is we start to let them know that there is hope and, and let them attach to some of that. Each person has the ability uh, to regain a sense of self and some dignity and to change the course of their lives. This could be the most important meeting that they've ever gone to and, uh, and I don't take that lightly. So when, when they show up to the door, not only are they going to, to walk into a place where they're not going to be judged, uh, but they're going to find a compassion. I've been there. Uh, our other staff members have been there. You know, they understand that desperation and they also understand the need for hope. We're addressing their addiction, we're teaching them how to get sober, but from that, we're allowing them the opportunity to find out how they want to live their life. You know, what is the, uh, you know, how much do they want to wake up? How much do they want to get conscious? And from that, we encourage that, because in the beginning, it's just, I don't want to drink, right? And, and if that's all they get, then, then they're selling themselves short. I think I see that long before they do. What it's like for me is, it's, it's pure excitement, right? It's, I'm driven, I think that's what drives me uh, to get up in the morning, is, is the possibility that somebody's going to come to us and and allow us to serve them in them serving themselves. I, I'm amazed, 21 years, I still, 
I still get so excited about recovery because it's all new. Every day I get to find something new about myself. And so in doing that, I get to pass that along to the individuals. I think I started with, I don't think I really believe in you, uh, but if you are real, you know, you gotta help me. And the love resonated from inside. And with it came, not a voice, but a knowing of you're gonna be okay and you're gonna serve others. From that time, my life got different. It, it changed. And I was no longer a uh, responsibility. I was no longer uh, incapable of taking care of myself. Uh, I was no longer um, the problem, you know, that through, you know, spirit and consciousness and support of others, I now became part of the solution. That's the day, the lighthouse. Yeah.